Well, good day again, folks. Back out in the Victorian gold fields. Um, been out here for a couple of hours now. It's a stinking hot day. That sun has got some tang, I tell you. And there's hardly any wind too. You can see the trees are just not moving. So there's just no breeze at all. Except for that tree, but you know what I mean. It's bloody hot. Anyway, um, moving on. I've got a nice sounding signal here. Have a listen to this one. That's a pretty good sounding target. Might go a couple grams. I picked it up. You might not be able to see there, but picked it up on settings there difficult high yield sensitivity 16 volume 5 and so on and so forth anyway I'll set up the tripod and uh, I'll dig this guy out okay let's see how big it is It's an Easter egg. Is that it there? I reckon so. I think it's pretty heavy. <laughs> it's gold. Just to make sure. Nice nugget. Yeah, I might just go two grams, maybe. Beauty. Okay, with that last piece that we found, it came from just at the bottom of the tripod over there. About 20 meters away. I found this faint signal just at the base of this tree here. And um, yeah, at first I thought it was just a bit of ground noise, but I've already taken a couple of inches off it and it's starting to sound a bit like a, like a decent signal. There's a good chance it's be another piece of gold. Anyway, let's dig it up and uh, see what it is. It came down a bit deeper. And um, it was just off the edge of the hole. It's a pretty decent sounding signal, this one. I think it might be bigger than the last one. As I was saying, this is what it sounded like at first. Yeah, not much in that. But now. Pretty good. In range of the pinpointer. Right there. So what I'll do is I'll dig around this guy. That's in this. Smaller and smaller. Uh, still a nice pace. 
That one will probably go two grams. Beauty. Nice one. Okay, well I'm on to nugget number three. You can see where the tripod is. Just over there, that's where the first piece was. About 20 or so meters down the hill. Got this guy. Now at first I thought it might have been a bit of ground noise. Because there's a bit of ironstone exposed reef here. So I had to take an inch off. And it sounds a bit nicer. Have a listen. So this will be gold. I'd say it's probably going to go about a gram, maybe similar size to that first piece. Anyway, let's dig it up and see what it is. Okay, well it's out of the hole. It's in this clump of dirt here. Pretty sure I saw a bit of a glint of it before. Right, just there. Yeah, it's definitely gold. Half a gram. Nugget number three. Beauty. Here we have a bit of native Australian wildlife. This little guy here, he's a Jackie lizard. And um, only a juvenile too, these guys. I don't know, they probably get to about eight inches in uh, body length. So he's just a little baby. Oh, very cute. Okay, well this is turning in to be quite a nice little patch. Now that nice little half to one grammar came out of there. Just a couple meters away, I've got another target here. Sounds like another piece, pretty similar to that one I reckon. Anyway, let's dig it up, see what it is. Okay, well it's out of the ground. Probably six or seven inches deep, I guess. And it's in this guy here. Another Easter egg. Not a bad sounding signal. Another half grammar, but this is turning out to be a nice little patch. So I'm going to keep working at it and see if we can find some more of this. Okay, I'm on to my next target. And um, I'm having a bit of luck detecting hard up against the trees. You can see where that last one was just there. And um, hard up against a tree. And uh, that other one we found was just over there too in amongst the trees. So I'm just avoiding the um, open area because I'd say this has been worked before, but people are just missing the, um, the nuggets in close to the scrubby bush. So have a listen to this one. Yeah, 
So that's quite an obvious signal, and I reckon that it's been worked before, but the prospector was lazy and just didn't put the hard work in. So thank you very much, whoever that was. Anyway, let's dig this one up. And there we have it, piece number five. A nice shallow one, it's only thin, but that'll probably go nearly on half a gram. And uh, yeah, as I said before, just shallow, just in there, hard up against a tree. I'm having a good run, and let's hope there's a big one lurching around here somewhere. Alrighty, well I cut the day a bit early, so uh, unfortunately no big nuggets today. It's still only four o'clock, but as I said before, it's so hot and it's just unbearable really, and the flies are getting pretty bad, and I, I drank all my water, so I thought, look, I had a good run, five nuggets. Um, that's good enough for today. And I'll obviously mark the spot on the GPS, so I'll, um, I'll come back soon enough. Time for the weigh-in, the biggest piece, 1.96, just under 2 grams. And this guy here, the second biggest, 1.6. Total for today, 6.17 grams. Look, I'm happy with that. As I said before, I did cut the day a bit earlier. I probably could have got a few more, but it, yeah, it's just way too hot. And it's always good to leave a bit of gold in the ground for next time. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid, and we'll see you next time. Well, this obviously isn't gold, but a pretty cool find. It is a nice piece of quartz. And you can just tell on the tip here, it's got that octagonal edge on it. And um, yeah, as you can see, it's a bit see-through. Not a bad find. Okay, I've got a nice little bit of gold here. Uh, it's relatively shallow, but a bit of a marginal signal at first. Anyway. Now definitely getting a bit louder. And I reckon it's gold because just a few meters away there's an old scratching there, so Let's say someone's found a piece. Hasn't really done the best job of uh, filling in his hole, but anyway. He's just left me this piece. So let's uh, see how big it is. Nice one gram nugget. Beauty. Pretty good depth, maybe hmm, six or seven inches there. And it's a nice piece of gold. Beauty. Okay, I've got another target here. Got a bad sounding signal. That last piece we dug just came from there. You can see where I filled that hole in. A couple meters away, 20 or so. Got this one, it's a bit um, shallower. Bad sighting signal this one. Anyway, let's dig it up, see how big it is. Been able to set up the camera. Anyway, have a listen. Pretty good sighting signal this one. Oh, the pinpointer should be able to pick it up from there. Oh, well, happy days. Pinpointer. Just make sure that's in the frame.
flat piece. Still a nice nugget. But not as big as I thought. Still, lovely bit of gold. That'll go probably two, maybe two and a half grams. Well, folks, I was walking back to the truck and had the detector on still, and um, I thought I just became a millionaire because this is what I heard. But uh, not the case because it is a horseshoe. It seems to be um, pretty well intact. It's been sitting there a while. Nice one. It's an old one too, by the looks. Okay, well after those two pieces, I've decided to throw in the towel. I uh, struggled getting a target after them, actually. I probably found those within about five minutes of each other, and they weren't too far apart. That's them there. And then after that, just struggled to get a target, except for this nice big horseshoe. An old handmade one, it's probably from the old timers work in the area. And um, yeah, we saw this nice piece of uh, quartz crystal. Anyway, time for the weigh-in. Biggest piece first. This guy, 2.15 grams. And this piece, 1.36. Giving us a total of just under three and a half. So this rounds off that patch that we found uh, the other week. Uh, I think we got just under, so just above six grams. So all up, it's about a 10 gram patch, which is not too bad going. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed the vid. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.